new day gone grab your suitcase same walk new face gone tie your suitcase ain't got a lot of money but got a lot of time so let's spend it where it's sunny let us see what we can find good morning for us all today is monday june 14 2021 i'm andy and I'm Yvette for the award-winning Good Morning for Stoke on WFOM TV. Welcome to the last few days of school. Heads up, this week is an A-B week. Monday's an A-Day, Tuesday's a B-Day, Wednesday's the last day of school and our virtual social day. The virtual social will be from June until 11.30 and have, a, and, and have lots of choice activities like Blow kids, TikTok dance, and scavenger hunts. Meet up with your friends for a for a last virtual get together. Look for the link in your lead class. Boys who would like to explore their Latino identity and history and meet lots of guest speakers can join the virtual summer camp for one week, starting June the eighteenth. See the MyMCPS dashboard for the for the details and links. Books Home. Forest Oak is happily collecting any overdue library or English books for any schools. If you have books from your elementary school or any other MCPS schools, we will return them to their proper home. Here again is our technology return policies. Pay attention as the directions have slightly different are slightly different for each grade. Sixth graders, you do not need to turn in anything. Keep your iPads and Chromebooks over the summer. Seventh graders, you will need to return your in your iPads for updating, but you can keep your Chromebooks. If you do not have a Chromebook, we will replace your iPad with an upgraded one. Eighth graders, you will need to turn in your iPads by June 16th. You can keep your Chromebooks if you need a new if you need a device for the summer. You will contact your new school. This week edition of GMFL includes an address from the admin, teacher, Joe Cavalier, from your favorite teachers, lots of music, and a mindful moment. Enjoy the show. A huge thank you to all the GMFL crew for keeping Good Morning Forest Oak going, even through an entire pandemic. And a special shout out to all the eighth graders, Eleanor Breeden, Deniat Asayas, Eduardo Ramirez, Sandrine Wiggins, Natalie Rivera, and Andy Diaz Amaya. Bye. Hi, 8th graders. This year's 8th grade promotion ceremony will be a video. The link will be emailed to all 8th grade students as well as posted on the website by 6 p.m. on June 14th. We invite you to Forest Oak on June 16th from 1 to 3 p.m. to pick up your certificate, awards, and gifts. We will also have photo stations set up so that families can get out of their cars for photo ops. Don't forget, we will be practicing social distancing. If you have any questions, call the school or email Mr. Carter or Mrs. Corey. See you there. Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find that spider. But I see it in you, so we go walk it out. Oh, mountain, we go walk it out. And
episode of jokes. We fired Mr. Carter. Um, no, I'm kidding. We didn't really. Uh, all right, so here's some jokes for you. Uh, you know, I used to, I played the piano, and I used to play the piano solely by ear, but then I started using my hands. <laughs> you got ear. big ears. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, okay, did you hear about the prize they awarded to the, the guy who invented the first knock-knock joke? No. It's a Nobel Prize. Um, what do you call it when a strawberry tries to cross a busy intersection? Strawberry it's a, crush. It's a traffic jam. <laughs> what do you call a belt if it's made out of all watches, like a bunch of watches put together as a belt? Time it's for a, a new belt. It's a total waste of time. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Waste of time. All right, and this is the only one that earlier people actually laughed at, so we'll see how it goes. When two vegans get into an argument, is it okay to call it a beef? <laughs> okay, that would I mean it was sort of. <laughs> I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm, I'm now clean, so don't worry about it. Have a great summer, everybody. Feel free to send me jokes. They're funny. Okay, so this is Mrs. Stern with a little tip. So if you're handing in your iPad <clears throat> for this summer, you might want to save some of the work on your iPad. Um, if you have pictures or photos or videos, the easiest way to save them is to save them to your Google Drive, which has unlimited storage. So you want to go into your photos, navigate to the photos that you want to keep, and then um, send them to Drive. So you're going to use this little icon that's a square with an arrow on it. It will give you an option to send it um, to Drive, maybe to Gmail. You might have a couple other options in here like Classroom. If you don't see the option that you want, if you click on More, you can add Drive or Gmail or Outlook to your quick menu. So you just want to select Drive. Your iPad will pre prepare your photo. And in a few moments, it'll ask you where you want to send it. You can see I have my Gmail icon down there, and I'm just going to click Upload. Now you can send a couple of pictures at a time. If you're sending lo larger videos, you might want to send them one at a time. It will take um, a few minute, a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how many items you're sending and how large the file is. 
but once you have sent it then you can just go to your drive and check to see if your picture has arrived and this process does take a few seconds better to do it when you have a good Wi-Fi connection or good data connection but your files will arrive and that is my tip for today Good morning, Forest Oak. Welcome to our final mindful moment of the 2020-2021 school year. Very happy to be here, Mrs. French, with you to lead you in our final mindful moment on our final edition of the virtual GMFO show. Um, you know, I've used the word final a lot, and actually, as we move into our mindful moment, I know we often talk about presence and about being present and um, mindful in the moment. But, you know, the end of things, such as the end of a school year, uh, bring on something, um, you know, different emotions. Uh, we, re we reflect, we think back over the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows. And obviously this year, uh, like no other, has um, probably brought us some of our highest highs and our lowest lows. And so as you are in your mindful position today, sitting straight up and hands on your lap and you're getting nice and relaxed and your spine is aligned and heart to the sky, I want you to kind of think about your last year in the Forest Oak community, whether you were at home the entire time, you were in and out of the building, maybe you stopped into the building, um, or maybe you never had a chance. And so everybody's experience is different. And so as we are mindfully breathing today, let's just uh, focus on some of that reflection, kind of like a mindful movie in our minds, okay? Eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you're breathing deeply, get that movie going in your mind. As you started the school year, maybe what you were thinking and feeling as we transition through each month and each change. As we hit the middle of the school year, coming forward. Spring break, some of us started back in the building. Capture those scenes, let them go. Bring it back right here to this moment, your last Monday of this school year. We wish you the best of summers, everyone at Forest Oak. Congratulations to our eighth graders. Uh, we hope you do great work in high school. We're very excited for you. Um, take care, everyone. Be well. Keep that mindful breathing with you at all times throughout the summer. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the fall. Bye.